Well, it's week three of the high school football season, and we've got another game of the week to preview before the action unfolds. Katie Marr has this week's edition of KBC3 Game. This week, our Kansas Prep Zone Game of the Week takes us to a matchup between two programs who have known a lot of success in their respective classes in recent years. I'm talking back-to-back -back state title success. We're heading up to Nemaha Central, where they're hosting Rossville. Both squads are still adjusting to life in the newly merged Big East League, and both find themselves with something to prove right now. Starting with the reigning back-to-back 2A -back state champs, Nemaha Central's 26-game win streak was snapped week one by Marysville, but they came back against Silver Lake with a vengeance. Carter Height got back to his dominant ways under center, totaling eight 183 yards and three scores on the ground while also throwing for 147 yards and two touchdowns. The defense fixed the mistakes and held a, dy a dynamic Eagle offense to only seven points. Just because they lost one game, it doesn't mean they can't still win a third straight state title. Some of them took it hard, uh, especially the upperclassmen, the seniors, juniors this year took really hard. I think took it to heart. Uh, took it as a challenge uh, the next week in practice. Um, and I told him Friday night after the big win against Silver Lake, uh, we practiced like we wanted to play. Meanwhile, the dogs are on the hunt for their first win of the season. They've had a tough schedule to start. War on 24 week one and a St. Mary's team that's looking mighty impressive week two. Now don't get it twisted. Both of these were one score games. Taysen Horak totaled 143 passing yards and a touchdown last week, and the defense held the Bears to zero points in the fourth as the offense attempted the comeback. Coach Thomas says these early challenges are going to set them up for success when it really counts because they get to figure out their mistakes now. When you play a good team, your margin for error is, is pretty small. So um, the key for us is to eliminate those type of things and, and clean that stuff up so that uh, if, we, if we get in another close football game, um, the outcome can be different. Kickoff is at 7. We've got your live pre- and post-game coverage from Seneca all Friday night long on Kansas Prep Zone.